Test one, two. <coughs> Sega. Hello everyone, this is Sarfo9078 here, and welcome to my next Let's Play! Which is, you, as you seen, as you see from the title, Comic Zone for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> I've been wanting, wanting to play this game for a while, but, uh, I haven't really gotten, like, the, uh, really get, got the hang of the difficulty to actually get a proper Let's play ready for it, but now I do, and I think I, I can. I'm now able. I think I'll, I'm able to actually get for the game normally now. So, eh, real quick, I'll just set up a few things. Uh, mostly for the custom, uh, for the controls. Uh, there's like various custom. Like as you see in the C button, there's like a custom. Like you can choose like a custom thing for the character. For your main character, which you'll see pretty soon, uh, there's like you have a choice of block, shoulder smash, scissor kick, Shaolin kick, and macho yell. Macho yell is just a ton. Block is just well, as you can guess what it is. These three are pretty interesting. Shoulder smash is pretty much more of using a uh, getting using the I guess objects a bit faster or alternate attack against enemies. Scissor kick, pretty much a, a uni kick, Shaolin kick. I'm not as familiar with that one. Oh yeah, I think I know. It's like a more of a more. It's more of a unique kick than the other one. The scissor kick is eh, more of a, a manual special kick you, you can use. I think I'll choose this one because it's pretty useful. So, I guess we can start this off right now. New York City, present day. Look at me, Sketch. I'm just a drawing, but I'll be free soon enough, as soon as you're dead! I cannot kill you here, but I know of a perfect place to do it. Have a nice trip! So, episode 1, Night of the Mutants. Let's start this off. New work. E. NWE. Command Center, I suppose. Oh, here you are! What the hell? You must be the chosen one. Who? Hey, do I know you? I have been expecting you. Get on with it. I'm General Elisa Cyan. Your name? Sketch Turner. Wait a minute! Sketch? God damn it, lag. Well, Sketch, this mission is critical. I'm in my own comic book? No! What the hell is going on with the lag right now? I beg your pardon? Alisa, I'm not your superhero. Just relax. Let's not waste any time. You have a job to do. A job? What are you talking about? That's all for now. I'll be in touch. Huh. This is crazy. Whatever that says. You may need some of these items. Huh. I'm wondering what's causing that lag right now. Ugh, give me a moment, that's really bothering me. Okay, this is a little weird. My fast is going a bit over with the recording on my CPU for some strange reason. I mean, I got everything set up correctly. Why is it doing it like this? Especially on my Sega console. Maybe it's something to do with the emulator, having also using up a lot of CPU. I'm not sure exactly. Hopefully it won't be a huge, huge problem throughout the game. So, yeah, Comic Zone. This is a pretty unique game, I will admit. Like, uh, the concept, uh, it's pretty much more of a... You're pretty much inside a, a comic book and you're trying to... As you see, like, in the plot before starting off, you, your main objective is actually trying to escape 
uh, from the comics somehow by doing some of these missions. And okay, real quick here, I'm gonna show off a special move over here. If you hold down the attack button, you can do like this. Uh, this paper airplane. You can spawn like a paper airplane if you hold down the A button. Mostly from getting from the back for a fourth wall breaking. There's gonna be a lot of fourth wall breaking in this game. So yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty special move. It's pretty hidden in the game, but if you try it out, if you hold it down long enough, you can use it. But be careful; it uses up a lot of health. So yeah, do use it wisely when you can. Roadkill, buddy. Yeah, th this is roadkill. Probably the most useful um uh item in the game. It pretty much. What Roadkill does is sometimes it can. Uh, come on. That's what I was trying to do. Let's just replace that. Uh, Roadkill can find uh, hidden items in the wall, and also it, he can turn on and off some switches or flip switches as well from places you can't reach normally. Ah, hello, Striggle. Oh yeah, I didn't mention the enemy's name. Uh, this guy over here is Striggle. The previous guy we fought, previous two guys, I suppose, uh, is Gravis, and that flying creature is called, get this, flying creature. Very original. Deja vu? The swing is too high. The switch is too high. Oh yeah, deja vu, as in, the room is sort of repeating. Okay, get rid of this. Get rid of them all. Knock him. <laughs> Knock him to the other side, apparently. Whoopsie. That's not what I was supposed to. <laughs> okay, that works. Okay. Let's do an uppercut against those guys. I guess that bat to get rid of them. Pretty easily. Okay, that's the end of the first half of the stage of the episode. What the fuck was that? Huh. Apparently, his sketch has turned in, in, him into himself a super, uh, human superhero version of the Kool Aid Man. Huh. Okay, so 50% done of the game. This game is not too long, so I might even do it like in one recording here. Okay, if I let go rogue kill over here for a moment, yeah. Another hidden item you can find. Very useful. Whoa, I don't know this page. Weird stuff. Watch it! Above you! Cocoons! Yeah, mainly just try to knock him down. You can just, uh, you can do that, but I more recommend using the uppercut. Because it's more effective. Okay. Striggle, how you doing, buddy? We're gonna meet. We're gonna be meeting a lot of Striggles throughout the game. Come on. Okay, that works. Uh, either yeah, it's good. Let's do it this way. What you would normally do without that uh bond, you can also use Roadkill to get to the other side. To turn off the fan and get to the other side. That's another pretty effective way of getting through that. So, okay. This room. There's two paths we can take. You've probably seen it earlier that there's other, also other uh, choices for paths we could ch choose. Either we could go for the right one or we could go for the left one. I'm gonna go for the left one because it's a bit quicker. Uh, in the bonus video, actually, I'm gonna show off the rest of the, um, the rest of the uh, roots that I haven't sh shown off in the let's play yet, so I'm gonna do that. And oh, damn it, wasn't close enough. I guess we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, what I recommend going when going for this game, try to use as many uh, various. Uh, 
combos as possible to get rid of, uh, to fight the enemies because usually if you do the same attack constantly they'll block most of the time when, when they get the idea so you might need to do that okay get on that and there we go that's what you mostly need what you that's what you mostly need to do around that part is that and suddenly these guys I'm gonna show up a pretty nifty glitch <laughs> pretty hilarious those are cocoon claw, claw crawlers they're pretty much like you mostly need to try to get them by mm, by crouching and hit, kicking them but you can do it that way too by using the glitch uh, ground kick them pretty much cr crouch kick them and just hit them a whole bunch and <laughs> apparently I let out a fart. Sketch. Let out a fart. That's eh, somewhat uncommon for that to happen. Sometimes when sketch when you crouch, sometimes sketch can even fart. No real purpose. No there's no real purpose for it. It's just kinda there. Okay, that was pretty effective. Pretty effective kill. Yeah. See? Use a lot of various moves to try to get rid of them. Most of the time they won't block, but there's still a possibility that can that they can block quite a bit, so okay. Bust time. Holy cow! Okay, this boss is called You won't believe this once again. With the original name titles. Big Mama Dragon. Yep, and why can't this barrel light up? Oh no. This glitch. Uh, what 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 it would normally happen is that uh, when you reach to the barrel, when this when the dragon uh, hits the the barrel, it, the top lights up and you can kill killer uh, that way. But apparently uh, there was I guess I triggered some sort of glitch where it doesn't actually light up, and now I have to kill her the old-fashioned way. So whatever. Okay. Dragon kick and there we go. Violent death. Oh yeah. Man, what a trip. So that's the end of episode one. There's three episodes in the game. Again, I'm telling you, I'm saying this again. It's it's a pretty short game, but really difficult. Episode 2, Welcome to the Temple. Love this song, by the way. What's this, the Rockies? Well, yeah, pretty much the Himalayas. Okay, so what we need to do around here is actually find... to get inside a temple. So, okay, this enemy, this guy is... Styx. S-D-Y-X. Styx. The monk. And wow. <laughs> and also they have a pretty They have a pretty hilarious like uh dev yell. Oh they're a dev scream when you kill them. I have to admit, it's kind of hilarious. Ooh, nice. <laughs> okay, this room. First I need to get to this box. Easier said than done because it's kind of tricky. Okay. There we go. Okay, real quick. Oh, what you need to do is actually push this rock from there and get it to the other side over here so you could block off uh, the whole where those flying creatures spawn in. Oop. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, game. Calm down. That was really weird. There's like, if you don't block that up, you pretty much get an infinite amount. An infinite amount of those enemies until you like block it off, I guess. Okay, so either I can go down or left. Uh, left is a bit better because there's more items around there. But this, but this be a walk in the park. Huh, I guess not. 
Although this path is somewhat tougher because of this, of what you need to do around here. Okay, what you need to do around here is actually explode this guy with these two boxes. But you need to do it from a certain distance to hit the boxes, otherwise you take a lot of damage, so be careful. Okay, that was good enough. Okay. You again. Just knock you out. Okay, you see this crack on the wall over here? That's a shortcut. Or a hidden room. There's some pretty useful items. Uh, I don't think I'll need anything else. I'm pretty much good from here. It's too dark! I can't see shit! Who turned off the lights? I can't see shit! Yeah. Not a good impression for that quote. Human, this tournament is for Kung Fung graduates. Kung Fung? Oh, I... <laughs> I did that by accident. Whoops! I actually didn't mean to do that. Uh... <laughs> sorry, uh... If you use that, uh, power-up... Uh, in this room, like, around, it turns off the dark and it actually skips that currency. I that didn't actually mean to do that. I did it by accident. Whoops. Whatever. That's still fine. So, I guess, uh, if I remember the plot correctly, uh, those guys, like, over there in the background, uh, I guess the viewers or somebody else leading the tournament over here talks about like about a temple and the fighters around this tournament, something like that. And I think he also says like where the temple can be after the tournament. They let you go and let you go to the t uh, to the temple. So okay, that right there, momentarily that was. Uh, Where's the name? I have it around here. Uh, did I actually not? Holy crap! It didn't write down the name. I, it's it says it around there. Wow! I actually have like a red list I wrote down recently of enemies, and I apparently left out the the girl over there. That was weird. That was kind of stupid of me. Oh well. Okay. Another hand I over here. Very useful too. Because you kind of do need to get to use that, otherwise uh, you won't get through it. There's also another way, you need to jump to the other side to him and push him off, but that's a lot more trickier. Okay, I might need to focus a bit here because this this part over here is pretty nerve-wracking to get through. Mostly with this, mostly because of this guy. And, yes, he did it! <laughs> he did the hilarious death! That's awesome. <laughs> I love that death. When it happens. <laughs> the way he just springs off and into the pit. So beautiful. Okay, just get over here. You, you flying creature. So you can call them... <laughs> or you can call the flying creatures creep because they apparently say that creep. Creep? 